Ekoji for leading Nigeria into recession for second time. PDP tells finance minister. The People's Democratic Party has asked Nigeria's Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, to apologize to, for leading Nigeria into its second recession. Ahmed Zainab on Thursday said the contrary may go into recession due to the slowing down in economic activities. PDP spokesperson Kola Ologodion told Sahara reporters on Friday that President Muhammadu Buhari led administration had mismanaged the economy for the second time had the detriment of Nigerians. He said what Nigerians would have expected the Minister of Finance to say is that President Momodou Buhari administration had, ble had bleed this nation into a recession, a record second time. That is why they should have said, I would have also expected her to apologize to Nigerians for bringing this fate upon them. It is wrong to go and say in front of National Assembly members that Nigerians should expect recession. Everybody already knows that we are in a recession and this is the second time that this government, President Mohamed Buhari's government, is bleeding Nigerians into a recession. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Mm, this is really we are really into recession we are in a recession era this is all, all, all uh, always the case in this country this is what we always we always we are facing we always face in this country we are married and traded um tribalism god is merciful that is why some foolish people are still living and can and can make unnecessary and unacceptable statements in the first place was it not the pdp that empty federation accounts to finance election which they did not win where are uh, these people where are people like chief metu in prison pdp using 1.7 billion naira for spiritual consultation, is that not what they, is that not what they did the last um, the last time? We had people like the um, Dizani, Madukwe, and Co. Ha, and here comes natural happenings that the world is battling with, and with uh, many countries. They are battling words. This, this thing, uh, and uh, uh, natural things are happening that this world is battling with so many countries. So many countries will be going in recession. Some people that contribute negatively, that led us where we are today, is still playing politics out of it. President Mohamed Buhari and the government, they have misled us. They have deceived us severally. They, have, they are the one that, is, that has made recession to, be, uh, to radiate in this country. Because the money that they are supposed to use in doing so many things in the country is now being used for their personal uh, reason. Look at what Jonathan said. When Jonathan left, he said when he left the office, that he uh, left with huge amounts of money. Then why would he say that he has an account in U.S. that he does not have? The money he left is so huge to the that that they can even use it to do um to 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 to, to restructure this country. But now nothing is in the pause. Is in the account of Nigeria. This is why Jonathan asked President Mamadou Buhari, asked him that the money he left in the accounts, that he should give account. But Buhari could not. 
he could not give any account because he knew Christ or he knows Christ or that he has yeah, the money has been looted. The money has been has been stolen by him. But if it were to be someone else, I know what Buhari would have done. The next thing Buhari would do, Buhari would do is to execute that person. He, 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 he is to detain that person. But when it comes to his own um a mistake, nobody is charging him to court. Nobody is 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 saying anything to 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 detain him. Nobody is persecuting him. But if he were in the position of Jonathan, he would have asked for the arrest of Jonathan. Is it because he said? Is it because he thinks he's a leader in this country? Is a president? Is that why you can do anything he wish to do, anytime? Imagine, look at this Zainab. Is apologizing to who? Who is it apologizing to? Nigerians. The Nigerians would have expected a the Nigerians to be sorry that this country has put the, uh, the nation into a recession. Imagine, they have put the nation into a recession, recession the second time. That is why they, they should uh, they, they said that they have also expected um them to apologize. Nigerians have expect Zainab to apologize to Nigerians for bringing this fate upon the country. Nigerians are suffering. It is wrong to go and say in front of the National Assembly members that Nigerians should expect recession. What kind of a, 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 a stupid and a, a nonsense statement is that? Everybody already knows that. We are in, in, a, in a recession. And this is the second time that this President Mamadou Buhari's government is really bringing recession, causing recession into Nigeria. We are tired of these people. We can't wait for 2023 to come and let we rest and let's call and let's say bye bye to, to Buhari's administration and let the person that God chose for us that will lead, lead, lead this country in peace lead it in peace and in and all this crisis that has, that is happening in the country will be resolved we can't wait for 2023 to come and go yes we cannot we can't so why do we expect what do you what do you expect from a party that failed to complete a small portion of a land as their party secretariat no search in how things happened. No deep thinking before opening their mouth to say whatever they want to say. So, with all what is going on all over this world, is it Buhari's government and the finance, finance minister, Zainab, that we should be announcing this? This PDP is nothing but irritants. They are stupid. Look at what they are announcing. Announcing that there will be recession in this second term. That they, they are apologizing that the, uh, Nigerians should forgive them because the recession is coming. But imagine nonsense and stupid talks from a leader. Someone that claims to be a leader. When common person is saying all this, they should be arrested. But a common person will say and be arrested. This is, that is what our leader that calls himself President Momodu Buhari, which they say is no, is, no, is no longer alive. That the person in Asurok is Jibril. I don't know what, what to, how to categorize this person here. I don't know what to call him if it's Buhari or Jibril. What a little child will say that will be flogged. This is what, what an elderly person that calls himself a leader is saying. Imagine this. He shouldn't have altered such a word. He shouldn't have because he, the Nigerians are really much, very much angry with him. And he is saying all this again. Imagine what he's trying to say. When Okonju Umwala was in finance and uh, Soludo was in CBN, the evil Nigerians who don't 
like good things. They all enjoyed Naira. They say Naira was the strongest currency then in Africa. But what do we have today? Naira was soon, will soon be 60 Naira per dollar. And some foolish people will still tell you that it, uh, that it's PDP that spoils the economy. Yes, now, they had the one. Are they not the one that spoils the economy? So this woman that has said this, financial minister, that, she's, that's, that has said what she has said, she does not even go wanted of Igbo women. Igbo women are always caution of what they say. It talks like the Yoruba. Yoruba and Nausas are the ones that say what they like without even thinking it. Look at what he said. She's very lucky. This is all I have to say, viewers. Your comment is very much needed. Drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates. Thank you.